Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and just a little bonus video here for you today. Last month, somebody asked me if I was going to do any kind of wish list with me for polished pickup and I had said, no, I didn't think I had the time, but I would try to do it for December. And so that's what we're doing. So really quick, just in case you're not aware of what polished pickup is, it's a monthly kind of shop that gets set up and um, indie, all sorts of indie makers follow a theme and you get to shop these exclusive polishes uh, that fall under that theme. And I believe this month's theme is something like cozy. Um, but something I want to highlight for those of you who are not new to Polish Pickup, something new uh, that recently started was there's an inventory arrival check-in that they're starting to do. So um, now when it gets close to the end of the month, you're gonna know if any of the polishes you specifically ordered have not yet come in. And that way you can know why your package hasn't shipped, which I think is really nice. But um, basically what we have is we have polish, they have hand and nail care, top and base coats, bath and body stuff, wax, jewelry, and then like miscellaneous stuff. So what I'm going to do, my process is I just hit shop all. I go through everything. I look at every single thing. I add anything that sparks my interest to my wish list. And then later on, I go back right before the date and I call my wish list. So we're just going to do the initial like add everything. And then you guys can help me kind of decide in the comments what I should pick up. So what I do is I just open a million windows and I'm sure this is going to stress somebody out. But I literally just open everything. This is how I shop on any website. And then I just go tab by tab. So already I'm kind of interested. This one says 1422 Designs Beachside Bar. The only place this Michigan girl can be warm during the winter is a tropical beach. Well, it's a Michigan brand. I didn't know that. Um... Now I'm intrigued and I do love flakies and I love a blue. So we will add this to the wish list. That's just kind of like my, I'm thinking about it. I do not need mini bottles. So we will pass on these. Uh, my ears are stretched, so I can't even really wear regular earrings. Um, again, earrings. Ooh, this one is cool. Alchemy Lacquer's Snow Day. You know I love kind of a weird gray, and I love flakies. I love a pink flip to a gray. And so definitely adding that one to the wish list. Oh, see, okay. All mixed up lacquers. I always see some really cool stuff, and this one is intriguing. This one's called Cozy Toesies, and it says it's inspired by colorful toe socks. How cute is that? Uh, but it is a thermal. And my rule is I cannot buy a thermal unless it's something that I would enjoy in its cold state. And to me, so the black, I believe, uh, yeah, the black looks like this is the cold state. Yeah, black, cold, duh, Hillary, look with your eyes. Um, and I don't love the black jelly with the glitters in it in the cold state. I think I just more like the combined cold and warm state. So I will pass on this one. This is Anchor and Heart Lacquer Baby Snuggles. Um, I think even though this is definitely like a lighter blue, I don't think that I can see myself wearing it because it's just too white leaning and you know how I feel about white nails. Um, keychain, I'm not a big keychain gal. I like stickers, but not keychains. Um, hard as nails or art as nails. I, how do you guys say that? Do you guys say it with an H? Because I do because I just do. <laughs> um, fireside Cuddles, inspired by Open Fire. A matte finish polish with bronze, rust red, and gold flakes. This is a flaky that dries matte? That's interesting. I only have one like that. Um, and it's from Live Love Polish. That I think it's called Rue Morgue. I got it right when they closed. It dries matte? Um, let's put that on the wish list. That sounds intriguing to me. Atomic Polish, I'm a plant person, inspired by indoor plant people. That's funny. Um, 
green base color shifting polish with a yellow leaning green base filled with pigment that shifts from gold to green. Definitely very pretty, but looks quite similar to a lot of stuff I have, and it's just not like screaming to me. Um, Aurora Five Free Nail Lacquer. Tauntaun Insulation. Gross. Um, this, this is a Star Wars polish, and my friend wanted this polish, I know. Um, inspired by toasty warm entrails of Han Solo's Tauntaun that keep Luke Skywalker warm on Hoth. Uh, if you are not a Star Wars person, which I am not, but I know way too much about Star Wars for someone who's never seen any of the movies... At one point, in order to keep warm, they have to cut open the belly of this animal, and he has to stay inside it to stay warm. That's what this is named after. <laughs> Real cozy, but it lights up very uh, glow-in-the-dark orangey-yellow. Really cool, but um, it the base color is not my jam, so we will skip that. Baroness X, Vino Al... Oh... I don't know. I'm not Italian. Is that Italian? I guess I don't even know. Um, inspired by Wine at Sunset. It's a berry purple based jelly polish with a slight purple to red shimmer, pink mirror-like flakes, and black to red flakes. Oh, that's really pretty. I think this is beautiful, and I can already see myself not wearing it because I know how big of a mess I'll make when I take it off. But look at that mat. That looks really cool, but I will pass. Um, Barrier Butter by Cuter Cuticles Fresh Laundry Scent. Okay, I love, even though I don't really buy like a lot of cuticle butters, I only really buy oils. I love the marketing here with the nails that match the scent. That is really such a cool idea. I really like props to them. I love that. Um, but that is a no for me. Okay. Base coat by Black Dahlia Lacquer. Peel off. This actually is something that I'm going to add into my wish list, and I'll tell you why. A, it's latex free. I'm allergic to latex, so that's a plus. It says it fully dries in under five minutes, and I use a peel-off base coat when I'm doing uh, multiple swatches because it makes it easier to pop them off in between. It makes cleanup like less of a hassle. So I would like to try this and see how it works for me. It's only seven bucks, so that's not too bad. And see if this will be a good alternative because for me, I've been using the Holo Taco one, and sometimes it just kind of comes off in strips. So let's see if this one does the trick. Um, this is a base coat, uh, scented by little brittle, delicious peanut brittle accented with warm swirls of pumpkin scent. <laughs> um, that's interesting. I don't know about scented base coats. I'm sure that that's an interesting thing, but I don't even have pictures of it. So we'll skip that. Base coat by Cupcake Polish, Ulala La French Manicure. Oh, it's like a pink leaning base coat. That's really nice. I think that if I was ever going to do a French manicure, which I almost never do, I'm not super into them, but I use um, OPI's uh, bubble bath, so I don't need this. Another base coat, um, Hit the Bottle Polishes, Keeping It Peel. This is also a peel-off base coat. Hmm. One to two thin coats for a base coat, and let's see. A short 10 second blast with a hairdryer can be useful to speed up the drying time. Actually, I never, never thought of that. Maybe I'll try that with my other ones, but this one is 13. So I'm going to try the $7 one first and see how that goes. Base coat by Vibrant Vinyls. Man, there's a lot of base coats. I don't need base coat. I have like a gallon of the Orly one. Here we go. BCB Lacquers Sunset Bonfire. Um, Cobalt blue with strong pink. I think this looks really cool. I like these like greeny blues, but I have a lot of colors that shift like that. BKL has quickly become one of my favorite polish brands recently, and unfortunately they are not going to be around much longer. This one is called Solstice Gift, inspired by A Court of Frost and Starlight. I'm, sure, I'm assuming that's a book, maybe? 
This one looks cool, but it's not one that I feel like I would wear, so I will pass. Okay, Black Dahlia Lacquer has a actual polish as well, inspired by blue snowy mittens, and again, blue, almost white, not for me. Bluebird Lacquer, this is a brand I want to try, but this one, Socket To Me, is just, feels really springy. And I don't know, it's just not calling to me right now. So pass. This is a body butter. I don't use those. And a tote bag, I don't really use those either. So now we're on page two. Um, so basically, I try to keep it down to about four polishes minus any, like, like I don't count any kind of like base or top coats in that four polishes because I'm trying to get everything, you know. Um, you'd think this one would be for me, but I actually recently bought a Zoya. This is by Danny Vienna Fairy Lit. Um, I recently bought a Zoya that is similar, so I will pass. This is, I'm just going to get rid of any uh, thermal, I think, right from the get-go. It looks really pretty in the uh, cold state, but... I don't need to pay for thermals. Uh, we don't use these hand creams. Cadillacer. Purple lights inspired by a purple candle. Um, well, I don't know what they meant by purple candle, but it makes me think of the Advent purple candles. So, and I also recently just fell in love with Cadillacer. So we're going to add that to the wish list because purple is my weakness. Cameo Colors Lacquer. Sun Warmed Nook. Um, it's... I, I like the inspiration. I don't like this yellow particularly. I don't know what it is about this, but I, I like that it glows in the dark, but I'm not interested in that. Snug Life, inspired by a Snuggie. Um, it's cute, but I have so many light blues, and uh, it has a very small cap, so I will pass. Color Spectrum Polish Cinnamon Whiskey. Well, that is it looks like a pumpkin to be honest um inspired by fireball oh geez um it's pretty but as much as i want more oranges i don't think i want this one chloris de carol blankets and hot chocolate let's see Ooh, this is actually really nice i love gray i love a flaky let's do it Oh, these stickers are fun. Oh, I like this one right here. All puffed up. He's got his big puffy jacket. Snug life. Those are fun. I have too many stickers right now, so I will pass. Oh, I don't... Hmm, I don't like that color. I don't like the base color. So I will pass. Cupcake Polish Sweet Slumber. Inspired by a cozy pink and silver bedroom. That is very specific. Um... Oh, wow. I like those colors together. Kind of looks like terrazzo, I think. Um, like that pattern. But I don't know. I think the pink doesn't stick out from far away enough for me to desire it. Cuticle Balm. We got Black Cherry Merlot Cuticle Oil. Uh, fresh la Oh, Fresh Laundry Cuticle Oil. I bet that smells good. We got another oil. I shouldn't have even opened these. What was I doing? Cuticula Unwind. I recently got a cuticula polish in a similar base color, I think. So, and I haven't worn it yet, so I'm going to wait. But I do think that these pinky flakes in the lavender look really nice. Uh, we don't need that. Ooh. Is, is this pronounced damn? Like damn nail polish? <laughs> Naps on cloud nine. It kind of looks like um, a pixie dust from Zoya, but with like extra chunky glitters in there. That one's cool, but this tone of purple specifically is not my favorite purple. I like really vibrant, like almost neon leaning purples or like the jellyish kind of Cadillac or one that we saw. This is an acetone additive and it's supposed to help like tone down the acetone around your cuticles while also just uh, like removing the polish. I've never used one of these. Let me know guys down below if you have ever used an acetone additive because I am interested in trying one. 
do nail polish apple cider i just don't like these peachy colors on my skin tone so no different dimension cold hands warm heart this is inspired by cozy blankets and i Ooh, it's hard to decide because the color in every photo looks different to me. Like here it looks white. Here it looks uh, gray. Uh, gray. It looks almost white on this nail. It's hard to pin it down. And I'm, I mean, obviously it's a gray in the bottle, but it's almost too late. light. So no, I don't need it. This is a color changer it looks like yep it's a thermal it's called my favorite yarn i think that's a cute name but like i said thermal oh no this is a thermal look at this color the dark blue like that i don't like i don't like this in its warm state which is really weird i only like it in the cold state so like i would buy this and then just let it die and then i would actually really like this but I don't want to pay for a thermal when I'm not even going to get the use out of it because I don't even want to wear it in the pinky state. So, no. All right, we're going to skip the ones that don't have pictures. Uh, well, we'll take a look at everything just so you guys can see. I just clicked on something silly that I shouldn't have. Yeah, but this is the most obnoxious way to buy anything, but this is just how I shop on every website. <laughs> This is Effect Topper by Cameo Colors Lacquer Firelit Night. Okay, is it just like a flaky topper? It's hard to... Oh, it's got like a bunch of stuff in there. It looks like it's got some micro glitter and then... Wow, it's really transformative depending on what you put it over. It's pretty cool. I have a lot of toppers and I know that I don't reach for toppers so often. So I ought to just say pass. Okay, we have another effect topper by Watcha, Warm Lights. I've never heard of this brand. Um, there's only one picture, so I don't have a lot to go on, but it does look like just like a, oh yeah, reflective silver glitter and gold hollow. Okay, so it's got a lot going on in there. Inspired by the lights of a Christmas tree. I have a lot of stuff like this and I don't need any more. These are stickers which are cute. I have a lot of stickers though. Like I said, don't need any more of those. Oh, this one is Fair Maiden Polish and it is called Snuggles. It's one of those icy blue, almost white polishes. We've passed on like four of those today. Fancy Gloss Cozy Sweater. This one is nice. Again though, like with that earlier wine named one, I know that I would not Put this on my nails because I'd be afraid to remove it. And then if I wore a peel-off base coat, it would just fall off in three days. Femme Fatale Cosmetics. Uh, something limited. Baubles and bows inspired by shiny Christmas tree baubles. Oh, this is kind of a fun color. Wait, is this, this is not a thermal, is it? It looks different on everyone. <laughs> this is confusing. This is, I love when there's multiple swatches, but sometimes it gets a little bit like, which one is the truth? Which is the true color? Um, Cause here looks a little light. Here it looks more teal. Here, I really like this color, very vibrant. Um, maybe it's just because it's layered more. This one, it looks like white almost. Oh, this is hard. Let's put it on the pending list and then we will decide at the end. I hate flip-flops. I cannot stand the feeling of this thing in between my toes. Um, foaming Manny Petty. Oh, that sounds nice. I will not use them. I can... <laughs> this one is called Snowman Poop. Come on, ew. <laughs> um, it sounds like fun, but I don't know if I would use them. I prefer like a mask. Um, tea soaks? What? Okay, this one I might actually <laughs> be interested in. That sounds cool. I'll have to look more into this. Let's throw it on the wish list and we will decide later. Garden Path Lacquers Snow Can Wait. 
a gray green beige base with red orange green multi-chrome shimmer and pink shifting iridescent flakes man sometimes people put everything in these things it's pretty um just not my color i guess this is a gift card hillary glisten and glow oh i can't i can't pronounce danish um it is too light for me i am not a like i said a big white look at these look at these teeth nails look at these teeth nails we don't want those hand and body sugar scrub i like sugar scrubs but honestly i just use a cheap one that i buy at ulta um there is no pictures so i guess it's a bag i'm not sure um that looks good i love hot chocolate uh hearts and promises cinnamon hot chocolate oh i don't like cinnamon though <laughs> um yummy milk chocolate brown holographic base with pink shimmer pink sparkles gold flakies and assorted iridescent hex glitters i think it's pretty and i know i said i want more like interesting browns i don't know if i love the shimmer aspect it looks a little it almost makes it look like a little bit metallic and i just i don't know i don't like metallic with the flakies in it here heather's hues cuddly and cozy this is a thermal and i don't think i like it in the warm or in the cold state so that's a no hit the bottle polishes knits and giggles this is a stamping polish i have so many stamping polishes that i barely use Indie by Patty Lopes. Baby, it's cold outside. This is just a magnetic multi-chrome. Um, I heard from somebody recently that magnetics can die, which is not something I knew. <laughs> so I'm trying to be cautious about magnetics as well. So we are going to pass. This is a cuticle protector. I have a million oils. Lifestyle Bloggers Latte by Jen and Berries. I don't know this brand. I think this color is pretty nice, but I'm looking for more like boom in your face stuff. Ooh, Dior Couture, keeping it cozy. Inspired by cozy Afro Boho decor, blue to pink thermal. Oh, it's a thermal. Oh, and it's the pink I don't like. Wow, they had me. They had me. I want this. The huge flaky right here, that's like, Hillary, you want this? And then it was just like, oh, man. I, if it was not a thermal, I would buy this one for sure. Um, Again, we got some Danish-inspired. Kathleen and & Co. This is inspired by soft, cozy lighting. Ooh, whoa. What in the world? That is very reflective, but it looks different in every picture. I don't know. Is that just because there's flash on it? See, I want it to look like the flash all the time. Mm, that's, I don't know. It looks really cool with the flash. I just don't like that pale color without it. Totally Stoked by KB Shimmer. I love KB Shimmer polishes, but this red is not for me oh it's got a lot of holographic in it though but again no i feel like there are less polishes this month than there have been in the previous months that i have uh like participated i only started in august so i don't have like a good basis for this but um there's only 86 to choose from and then they have the other stuff as well but Lacquer is in the air. Puppy snuggles. This is, oh, that's too bad. Inspired by my dachshund ginger that passed away earlier this year. Oh, I love wiener dogs. Um, it is a nice color, but not one that I wear very often. Um, but ginger, what a cute name for a dog. And then, uh, stamping plate. Don't need any more of those. Leisha's Lacquer Plaid PJs. Oh, that's funny. Um, very jelly. I just, I have something kind of similar to this, actually from a mainstream brand, surprisingly. 
and I don't wear it too often, so I know I would not get a lot of use out of this. Lemming Lacquer Sweater Weather. Ooh, those kind of like pinky, purpley, iridescent. Ooh, that's really nice. Um, but again, I just, I don't know what I'm looking for right now. I'm a little bit uninspired lately just because I've bought so much recently. I'm just like, I have everything. Um, it's nice, but I just don't want it. Oh, did her kid draw that? That's too funny. Lily Ann's Garden Peppermint Cream. I, I hate peppermint, I'm sorry, but I love this label. That's adorable. Um... Lily pad lacquer, cute and cozy, inspired by a tea cozy. Scattered gray hollow base with purple fuchsia, gold, pink, green, orange, multi-chrome flakes. Ooh, ooh. This would look pretty cool matte. Oh, wow, well, look at that. Answer my question. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Add to the wish list. I don't have anything by Lily pad lacquer either, so. Lotion of Immortality Trio. Obsessed with pie. Interesting. <laughs> um, I just don't need that. Oh my god, I wish, I wish that I could justify buying this. I have wanted a green-red thermal for years, and I saw one a long time ago. It was something, had something to do with zombies or something like that. I can't even remember the brand. It looked so cool. This looks so interesting. I am obsessed with like this blotchy way they've uh, displayed it. It looks just like the apple. I want it so bad, but I know. I, I know that I'll wear it one time and I'll get to experience the thermal one time and then I will never... Oh, it's a tri-thermal. I didn't even see this yellow. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Let's see cold red brown warm green hot so it's pretty red but oh man hillary exit out of this page right now i cannot have that one you guys yell at me in the comments tell me i'm not allowed to buy that one um treat yourself this is by lindby designs Ooh, i like that very cool wow that looks cool on the long nails I love these kind of blues that have these kind of shimmer shifts in them, but because I love them, I have about 900 of them. Ooh. I If this was all nail polish stickers, I would buy it, but I don't care about the drink stickers. Is this another thermal? You guys, is it? Yes. MJ Lacquer LMN. Oh, Lifetime Movie Network. That's funny. Um... This is cool, but again, a thermal. Hillary's banned from thermals. Moo Moo Signatures. I bought my first one um, from them recently, and I wish the picture was up because I am really interested to see what this one is. So I guess we're pending that. Moonshine Manny. Mom's Hugs. I don't like this color red. I like Moonshine Manny. I just don't like the red. So we're going to pass. I don't wear earrings. What is this? Knit cashmere blankets inspired? Uh, MT MTK Designs Cuddles. Okay, um... It's a thermal! <laughs> you guys, it's another thermal! There's like 900 thermals. Is this... No, we can't. Music City Beauty, my favorite jacket. Um... My favorite jacket is a 5D magnetic. What does that mean? 5D magnetic? Somebody tell me, please, <laughs> what does 5D magnetic mean? Um, kind of looks like a cat's eye marble. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what this means. But again, I'm kind of being cautious about magnetics as well. My indie polish puppy kisses, inspired by a cute picture of a black and white puppy. Um, this kind of gives me not Christmas vibes. I don't know. I, I guess these are supposed to be cozy, not Christmas. But, oh, look, Nicole loves nails. Oh, 
Oh, wow, I'm on her swatch. Nicole Loves Nails swatch this. That's cool. I like her channel. Um, It's cool. I like it, but I have a ton of star glitters. I could just do this. I mean, it wouldn't look the exact same, but I could dupe the vibe. Nail Artisan Cosmetics, time to get cozy. Inspired by a pumpkin spice latte. Instantly, I I see pumpkin spice latte and I'm just like, no thanks. I don't like pumpkin spice. I tried it for the first time last year and I hate, hate that I hated it, but I did not like it. Ooh, nail hoot. Snow cute. Um, actually, owls are the most terrifying thing in the world to me. Uh, when I was a kid, I had a reoccurring nightmare that a giant owl ate my entire family. And so I have never liked owls. And that is why I don't buy from this brand. I know that's such a dumb reason, but um, I like the polish. It's cute, but there's an owl on it. Oh, these are fun. Nail vinyls by Nevermind Apothecary. These are like ugly sweater mode. Ooh, I actually like this. There's only three different ones since it's 10 bucks, but how many... 54 stencils, you get a lot. Um, I'm interested in this. I think that would be fun to do. I got to see if I have any stamping plates that have stuff like this, and then I will decide from there. Nailed it. Mallow Dramatic, inspired by pink marshmallows and hot chocolate. It is really nice. I love a flaky. You know it. I know it. But I don't find myself wearing these kinds of pinks that often. I feel like these kinds of pinks look really good on, like, blonde people. And I don't know if that's just because I associate it with, like, Barbie. But, yeah. That's cute. Oh, they only have one picture, though. I hate when they only have one picture because I like to see it showcased by a lot of different people so that I can kind of see if the color is consistent. Um, Native War Paints Cozy Christmas, inspired by my Christmas decor from 2020. I love that. Um, but it looks more like a topper, so we don't need any more toppers. This magnet, you guys, let me know. Have you used, I've seen some people use magnets like this. I'm going to add it to my wish list. It's only like three bucks. Um, where you put your nail or you put your finger on top of it and you paint your nail while it's resting on there so you can kind of see. Is this the magnet you guys are using? Let me know. Uh, Hearth and Home by Nevermind Apothecary, inspired by Cozy Nights by the Fire. A warm brown with orange and red Aurora color shift and copper metallic flakes. It looks like chocolate, to be honest with you. I've never used... No, I think I do have one by this brand. Um, it is cool. We'll think about it. We'll put it on the wish list. That's a thought. All right, we got a couple more pages. Let's see. Let me know if you guys, like, hate this <laughs> so I never do it again. Um, I'm not into the shirt so much, so we'll just skip that. I don't do wax melts anymore. Oh, wait, I have one of those. Um, okay. Night Owl Lacquer Kitty Snuggles. It is white, uh, so no. Rosy and Cozy by Noodles Nail Polish. See, this is a brand I want to try because Jody's Polish is like obsessed, but I just haven't found one that calls to me yet. That's cute. <laughs> I can't crochet. Inspired by alpacas. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Duh. Um, I cannot crochet. I can knit, but I would like to learn how to crochet. This one... My friend sent to me right away and she was like, hey, Animal Crossing. And I was like, hey, I want to put that on my wish list. And it is green and it's got flakies and it's Animal Crossing. So that one's all about it. Paint it pretty polish fuzzy slippers inspired by slippers. Um, Definitely cool. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of purple flakies. Let me see how this one compares to the Cadillacer in my uh, wish list. Uh, no picture. <laughs> um, we will skip that. Pampered Polishes Cozy Night. 
I think the color is nice. I don't like how sparse the flakes are. And I, it's just like a personal preference. It's not that this is bad. It's just, I like a ton of flakies in my flakier polishes. And again, this is like not my favorite tone. Penelope Loose, Loose, Hot Wine, inspired by wine drunk, hot, and seasoned with spices. Sounds yummy, but the wine reds, man, I will stain myself for like a week. Phoenix breast breakf breakfast, 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 breakfast at the castle, inspired by the image of the breakfast at the castle. Very straightforward. Uh, this is a magnetic. I just don't know. I got to do more research on the magnetics. Ooh, what is this? Poetry Cowgirl Nail Polish Plaid Season. Inspired by her favorite plaid shirt. A harvest orange with indigo purple. Um, Add that to my list. I want to see how that compares to my Polish for Days one that I have. Polish Attic, that's funny. Um, I don't need that, but it is cute. Polish Molish, I'm wine today. Ooh, that is really cool looking. But as with all the other reds of this tone, I'm still, oh, it's brown? Burgundy brown. It's still, it looks red, so no, Hillary, no. That's funny, sticker, sticker. That's cute. Maybe I should get one of these and put it on my uh, Helmers. This is a... Oh, it's like a nail polish. It's a keychain, but it's like a snow glove. That's cute. I would break this immediately. <laughs> um, it is really fun, though. Psych Minerals, can you hear me? Inspired by a cozy night under a nice warm blanket watching Doctor Who. Um... I have a lot of multi-chromes that are like this kind of shift, so I just don't need any more. Oh, this is a ring. I have uh, man hands, so that would not fit me. It's a size 7. I am a giant person, so <laughs> let's see. Red-Eyed Lacquer Weighted Warmth. Red-Eyed Lacquer, I just like their little logo. He's like a cute little frog. Um... I think the polish is pretty. I think this would look really good on my friend who she's a redhead. I think that these kinds of green, tealy greens look good on her. So, and it's got gold flakes in it. That's really pretty. So I will pass for myself, but maybe my friend will like that. Um, restored by Polish, Sweater Weather, Sweater Weather. Inspired by my favorite cozy sweater and the SNL skit Sweater Weather. Well, I don't watch SNL, so I have no idea the reference, but I do know about cozy sweaters. Um, this one's cool. I like the, the navy base and, or well, midnight blue jelly. And it's got a lot of stuff going on in it, but just like those reds, this one I will get everywhere. I'm trying to click on this one. There we go. Oh, hey, wow. That looks cool, Matt. Um, Nicole, I love that you did that. It looks really cool, but I will make a mess. And I own this, so why did I click on that? Let's see. Is this the last page? We're skipping the clothes. I'll show you guys some of the stuff. But um, There's only a few that don't have pictures. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, we got one more page. Let's see how much is left. Let's open everything because I'm irresponsible. I am the type of person that has like 9 million tabs open at any given time. Let's see. Rogue Lacquer, comfy and snowy. Inspired by a self-winter scene. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's, um, it's interesting. I can't pin down... If it's like light or dark. Wow, that's got a lot going on. Pale lavenders hollow with intense red gold shimmer with micro hollow flakes. It is really pretty. But, ooh, wait, go back. Wow, I cannot click. That looks really cool, that macro. Um, but again, I don't need it. I don't need any of these. This one's cute. Saki Cosmetics Tetris Night. Um, 
It's a navy crelly. Is that navy really? It looks almost purple, like grape purple. And those glitters, I like the colors of the glitters together. Very cute. I would never wear this and I know that. Sassy Cat's Lacquer Lush. I ordered Sassy Cat's Lacquer last month for Polish Pickup. My Polish Pickup has not arrived yet. Um, so I don't know anything about this brand other than I ordered one. So I want to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, this color is not my thing. I do like this like really fine shimmer that they have running through it, but just not into the color. Ooh, sassy sauce. Dip your tips. Dang it. It is a thermal. They're killing me. Um, I don't like the cold state, but I do like the warm state. Look at those green in that blue. Very cool. I, if this, again, if this was not a thermal, it would be in my cart. Um, Grandma's Afghan. It is cute. It reminds me a bit of Easter. You know, those like chocolate eggs that like the little delicious candies. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Soothing Soul Nail Lacquer Hot Toddy. I don't even know what a hot toddy is. I just know it's a drink. Um, I don't, I'm not into metallics lately. I don't know. Not my jam. This is artisan soap. I don't think I could bring this into my home without my boyfriend trying to eat it because every time we go to Lush, he pretends like he's going to eat everything. So no. Wow, this like light blue, almost white is so popular. I like this one. This one I do like. It's a little bit darker, but still no. Mm, no Need to Rush by Supermoon Lacquer. It's pretty, but it's just not calling to me. Supernatural Lacquer Salt and Burn. I've never heard of this brand. I'm assuming it's inspired by Supernatural, the show. Um, it looks cool, but I have something that actually kind of looks similar, I think, from Bee's Knees Lacquer. So I'll pass. Sweet and Sour Lacquer Caught Slippin'. Inspired by Bunny Slippers. That's cute. I, uh, this is kind of peachy leaning, so I'll pass. This is soy polish remover. Now, the only time I've tried soy polish remover is um, it was Ella and Mila and they were like the wipes, like the hand wipes. I didn't like them. They left a greasy kind of oily texture on my hands. So if you guys have tried anything else, like any other soy polish removers, let me know because I just didn't like the way that it felt. Um, this one is scented like zucchini bread. <laughs> that sounds wild. Um, I, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you guys have tried something like this. I would love to hear about it. This is, I don't know, inspired by, we don't know, 40 available. The Soapy Chef Winter is Coming Spa Manicure Treatment. It looks like I want to eat it. No, I don't. That looks like soap now. Okay, pass. Tidal Mist and Marine Mist by Anchor and Heart Lacquer. What are these? Are they just like scents? It's a sp oh, it's a sprayable lotion. Interesting. That might be worth a try. Let me know if you guys have tried a sprayable lotion. That sounds cool, actually. I like that. I don't use wax melts, but they are cute. What is this? Oh, I thought this was this polish. I was like, what? I want that polish. Um, it's Top Coat by Baroness X. I don't know. What does it do? It acts like a slightly matte top coat. So it's like a set. Oh, it's like a satin top coat. Okay. I have something like that from Zoya. Top coat by Cuticula. Limitless quick dry top coat. Let me know if you guys have tried this one. Um, oh, it's scented. What is it scented like? Peppermint and spearmint. I don't like mint smells. This is my jam. This is my favorite top coat. I already have a ton of it, so I don't need any more. Oh, we got the owl back. Again, no. This one is called Fast and Hard Quick Dry Top Coat by Vibrant Vinyls. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys like this. Doesn't dull hollows, no shrinkage, no drag smear. It's got good claims. It's, it's hard to know about top coats just from pictures, so I like to hear people's personal experiences. 
Another keychain. Those are cute, but I would lose them. Simply meant to be. What is... Oh, yeah. Jack and Sally. Um, this one reminds me more of, like, the 4th of July, which... Not my holiday, I guess. Not my fave holiday. So, skip that. Um, oh, I was like, is this chapstick? Yeah, Hillary, it is. Vegan lip balm. Whiskey. <laughs> fireball whiskey. Uh, chapstick. I think that would give me a headache. <laughs> water slide decals. These are cute. Um, I like water slide decals. I think they are very easy to use. But I just don't use them that often. More wax, more wax, more wax. Um, Whatcha Xmas Warm, inspired by Christmas. And it is a just a really Christmassy red with a red shimmer. Just, I have stuff like that, so I don't need it. Wildflower Lacquer Bunny Slippers. I really want to try Wildflower Lacquer, but this is... Oh, that's a weird shift. I just don't like these, like yellowy peachy shifting ones like that color right there i just don't care for it so much so i will wait until next month to see what wildflower has to offer this is a notebook i don't need that and lotion and we have zombie claw netflix and chill it's a nice color but it's just i don't wear red so often and so I'll pass. And then finally, it's just some jewelry. And I, like I said, I don't have ear holes that are small enough. So we went through everything, all 157 products. I'm sure you guys were thrilled with that. So let's see. My final wish list has 15 items on it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven polishes that I have to narrow down to four maximum and then I will decide about like the extraneous like I know I'm getting this base coat by Black Dahlia and then just like looking at like these magnets and stuff so let me know your guys' experience um with like the magnet if you guys have used any of these like tea uh hand and feet like treatments and um what are you going to wish list for uh polish pickup this month if anything at all let me know I'm excited to hear from you guys and I will see you in the next one bye